Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer. Thank you for stopping by Scrapbooks and Memories today. I have a fun BB Craft unboxing and I did go through my stuff this time and take it out the packages just to save time and some things I wanted to inspect and make sure um, they were what I thought they were and th you know things of that nature. So if you'd like to shop at BB Craft, the link is in my description box below, along with all the links for every product you would see in this video. There's also a 10% coupon code you can use at checkout, which is MEMORIES10. It's going to save you 10% on your whole order. And if you would like to be in the YouTube program like I am and receive some fun goodies from BB Craft, they let you pick out at least $40 of goodies and then you go and make at least three videos for them. If you would like to participate, the link is in the description box below to apply. And uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, you only have to have 100 subscribers. So you can do this too and get lots of free fun things to use in your craft space and you just have to do some videos and give your honest you know reviews of the products so let's get into it let's get into it i'm gonna do as a pick case these three come as one this is a little kit back in december i had a lot of fun doing their kits for like the christmas um beatings and i made uh what did i make those oh what do you call them now i totally forgot what they're called but i strung some beads together from the kit and put some cute little um like hanger things at the end so i was looking through their kits again because i had fun with that one and they had this keychain kit that comes with these clear round disc the holes already in them and they do come like this with a film that you do have to peel the film off on both sides and they come out nice and pretty and clean. I got smudges on that one. They come out nice and clear. Love that. You have the key rings. Oop. With the little um, jump rings on the bottom for the attachments. The attachments. And a bag of these are really, really cute little suede. Um, tassels so cute and all these fun different colors with the cute little end caps I love silver those are gonna be so fun so all those come together in a kit to make keychains with these and then you add the little tassels with the key rings so that is gonna be super fun I have a really fun project in mind for this I want to start sending cute little fun things um, that aren't handmade with my swaps or challenges or just happy mail, you know, things like that. And this wouldn't cost much to stick inside an envelope. And then I also got these really fun, cute watercolor stickers. I did want transparent ones, but I accidentally took the wrong ones out my cart. I wasn't paying attention. I really love this one. But these are still pretty. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use them now for the project I had in mind. Because I it, I really wanted transparent stickers for that. But I might. I might try it with these and see how they come out. Because these are really pretty. They're just, they might be just a little bit too big. And I might have to fussy cut the whites off of them. These are very beautiful stickers, and you get so many of them. I love these big flowers. So that's that. And then next, we got a bunch of these that are called connectors. And there's different types. There's little ones like this. Oops. It's like little pearly ones. Then they have ones with like these little jammies this is like a one of those plasticky hearts remember back in the 90s we used to have a bigger version of these i used to have a pink one like a really big pink heart keychain those are so cute they have them in blue you have some little teeny tiny ones you have some with wings a rose see some are just single and then some some are connected and have beads on them. This has wings. 
like another little winged butterfly. Oh, look how fun. This one's cute. It's like a little angel. Here's an angel. And then some like little pearly ones. Those are going to be super fun. I think they'll be perfect for what I was thinking to use them for. I think they're going to be perfect. Really happy with those. Very cute. And then I got some stuff to stamp with because you guys know how I love making postcards. A few of you have received some of the po postcards I've made because um, a lot of times I like to make postcards instead of actual greeting cards. I don't like to sit down and mass make greeting cards. I find it um, overwhelming to say the least and like I get burnt out on... Because I don't want every single one to look the same, which I guess it doesn't matter if they look the same. But to me, they can't look the same. So each person has to get a different card. <laughs> I don't know, but it makes it makes making cards really difficult. So instead, I've been enjoying making postcards. And um, I bought, I got this stamp from BB Craft here to use. And all of these are single pages, single pages, single pieces this hole right here is the frame let's see I'll show you the back here how see it just peels off and each individual piece look like I messed it up each individual piece right here peels off oh no stay stuck there we go so I really love all these little pieces they have very very fun this is gonna make it so fun i'm gonna be able to make like official like greeting cards instead of that like um postcards instead of looking like a postcard now i got the stamp i'm so happy so happy plus the ticket stamps that i got last time oh it's gonna be so fun creating postcards now i can't wait and then to make it easier because i didn't have a stamping block that size i bought this big stamping block or I should say I was gifted from BB craft this stamping block and I like it but right here I'm guessing this is where my paper goes but there's also get this behind it see if you can see better there's like these uh little things that come out and you stack them in so I'm guessing this is just where my paper goes because there's rulers measurements around here and I'm guessing I'll put my thing here and make sure my paper's inside here when I stamp down I haven't seen one like this that has this open inside if you guys have seen one like this and am I explaining correctly how to use it is that how you do it you just put the paper on top of this if I use something thicker do I take these out for the thickness because then that makes it deeper or if it's like a deep stamp maybe Okay, so I'm going to have to look into that, figure that out. But I do like the size, and I think it's going to work perfectly as far as a uh, function, as long as I just figure out the proper way to use it. So if anyone has one out here exactly like this one, leave me a comment and let me know if I'm saying how to use it correctly. If not, just let me know how you use it. But thank you guys for joining me today. It is Friday, and I hope you have a great weekend. My, um rate of putting out videos has slowed down a little bit there's some things um happening in the background in my personal life nothing major but like i'm just you know talking through it and mocha my puppy she's been not so well this week she got stung by bees so it's been a couple days with her just making sure she was all right but um so I've just been relaxing, taking some time to myself, and um, I'm probably going to be putting out maybe one video per week for a little while. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up with that. Um, I hope you come back for my next video. It would be a fun one. I'm working in my uh, altered book, so I'm going to be coming back on with that probably next week for an update on that. So please be sure to join me and have a fabulous weekend. Bye!